slightly scary, but it's absolutely fine. They feel exactly the bad force winds going against my face. Doing a bit more my nose. Is it? I mean, we'll see in the 10 hour wear test, hon. If it doesn't last 10 hours, it's not gonna last 24. Hair here, but then obviously dark hair here and stuff like that. So life proof. That's, that's, that's a claim. I'm not gonna go and buy, I did once. I bought a really expensive brush. I'm so confused. What? TikTok stop. Hello honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but I'd be so grateful, beyond grateful, if you could please stay and watch this video. Also, if you're returning, then thank you. I, I, I don't know why you've returned, but thank you. I'm so, so, so grateful. So, today I'm very excited for this video, and if you don't really get the TikTok vibe, and if you don't really like TikTok, you will still like this video, I promise. So today I'm doing a beauty product, TikTok made me buy it. I'm testing out brand new beauty products that I've never tried, I'm very excited. We've got makeup products, we've got skincare products, we've got other products, I'm very excited. So, buckle up, let's get ready. If you want to subscribe, then I'd be so, so, so grateful if you could click the subscribe button. If you don't want to, it's fine. And if you could give this video a massive thumbs up, I'd be so grateful as well. So, let's get in with this video. Buzz in, TikTok made me buy it, testing viral beauty products. Woo! I need to start with this product. These are called Dots for Spots. They're designed to absorb impurities from your spot, ultra thin and translucent, promotes faster healing, acts as a protective cover. You get 24 dots, 12 millimeters wide. They were £5.99 from Amazon. All of the products that I'm gonna mention in case you like them or in case you like the reaction of mine or want to just go and look at them, they will be linked in my description. So that's really exciting because £5.99, if they do what they actually claim they do, are ultra thin and they get rid of spots overnight, it says you leave them on for six hours or just overnight. They are fragrance free, paraben free, sulfate free, cruelty free, fee, <laughs> cruelty free and vegan friendly. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I really should have used one this morning because there's a little tiny bump up there. It's one of those ones that's under the skin where you know it feels like it's massive but it's not that big and it feels like a massive bruise but it's not that big of a deal. So anyway, £5.99, let's go and test dots for spots. So here we go, dots for spots. 24 dots. I don't normally tend to break out in spots except in the center of my forehead when I'm coming on my period. It's wonderful. So, thank you to my mother for giving me the best hormones. Not. So here we go. They come like this. I'm gonna slide one out. Lovely. I'm gonna go, oh, that is a little white head. That is a little white head. Well, not anymore because that's for spot. Okay, I'm very excited. So look, it's just concealed it. What does it say? Cleanse and pat the area, fine, fine, fine. Use the easy tear line. Wear for six hours or simply leave overnight. So I will see you, Huns, in the morning. I love how it says to do it in a certain way. Oh yeah, they're really easy to peel off. Here she goes. Lovely, imagine my spots just go away. Imagine I wake up and this has just taken it away. I mean, it will be ludicrous, but it will be insane. Fingers crossed. Because I just don't believe it can take your spot away. Don't you think? But people have been going crazy, fingers. Toes, split ends, the whole lot cross. Okay, so hello, good morning. I just did my morning meditation. You can see I just woke up. I look like death. I've got little vampire diaries on in the background, so it's fine. So, spots for dots. No, yeah, dots for spots. There we go. So I've got two on. I left them overnight. You don't even notice they're there, which I really like. Also, you can't even see that they're there, which is amazing. Not that anyone sees me in the night and it's only Spencer who doesn't care. He liked them this morning. He woke up to them and he was like, oh, they're cute. I was like, thank you. So, we're gonna take this one off. I can see a little white head still, unless the white head's on the actual, there's nothing on there. There's nothing on there. Oh my God, what? Oh my goodness, my whole white head has gone. It's actually gone. Can you see that? There is literally no white head, it's gone flat. That one, there's no white bit at all. It's like they've completely vanished into thin air. I'm so confused, I'll zoom you in so you can see because I think we all need to have like an appreciation for this. What is going on? Can you see that? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What? Tick tock. Stop. I am fully quaking, shaking in my boots. I'm not even wearing boots, I'm wearing pajama shorts. But I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, I genuinely can't believe it. Because normally I put drying lotion on, which takes a couple of days. It, doesn't, it dries it out, but it takes a couple of days for the spot to still be there. 
the spot is gone. It's a tiny bit red, by the way, because I ripped it off a little bit hard. But, like, it's just flat. It's completely flat. It's completely flat. Well, if anyone wants all these things, they will be linked in the description because you need to go get them. And they were so cheap from Amazon. I'm shook. I'm shook. TikTok. Smashed it. Okay, so now I've got a couple of beauty products which I've actually tried on all together. I also have some of them on today. Not that anyone cares. Okay, so this is the first one. You've all probably heard of it. I understand. I'm late to the party. This is called the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution, pH 3.6. Use ideally in the PM no more frequently than once per day. After cleaning, saturate a cotton pad with the formula and sweep across face and neck. So I have actually used this in the past. However, I didn't use it consecutively enough, enough days to really see a difference. So I have been using all these products for the last week and you're going to see from my reaction. So it says here, a gentle exfoliating toner to brighten and refine skin texture. So after you cleanse, you just use this to brighten and tone. It's meant to be unbelievable and what's so good about it is the price. So this one's actually £6.75, which is actually incredible because if you know the Pixi Glow Tonic Toner, it's exactly the same. There's also a Ren Toner, which is exactly the same. All the same ingredients, however, this one is so much cheaper. Like, it's more than half price. Like, that is incredible. And you get so much. You get 240 milliliters, which I think is incredible. It says it has alpha hydroxyl acid, I hope I'm saying that right, that mildly exfoliates, but also it's got Tasmanian pepperberry, ginseng, and aloe vera to reduce and soothe irritation on the skin. So, let's get trying, shall we? So, I've got it here. I have already used it in the past. I do really love this product, but I wanted to show you on my skin. I just opened that, don't I? Yeah. I love how I've said I've used it and I can't get it open. So I just take some cotton wool pads. You can get reusable ones from Amazon, which I've actually ordered, which I'm really excited. They wash, so you just put them in the wash and it's so much easier and better for the environment. So what I do is I just pat it on my skin and this has just really helped to get my congested skin less congested. A lot of congestion, but I do have some like little bumps and texture on my skin. When I put highlight, you can see that, and this really helped. It also really helps to give my skin some clarity and also to boost radiance. So I really do love this product. I just wash my face and cleanse my face first, and then this obviously comes afterwards. I never really understood the idea of a toner when I was younger, but I really, really do see a difference now. It is really about giving your skin clarity and toning the levels in your skin. And I really do like this product. It's just so affordable compared to everything else on the market. Also, I don't like super harsh exfoliators and this is just such a nice exfoliator for your skin. It's so mild. So that is how my skin is looking. I feel like it probably doesn't look any different, but it does give you a nice healthy glow. That's what I would say. It gives you a nice, very soft, very nice glow to your skin. Using skincare has changed the game for me. I genuinely love looking after my skin because I feel like the older you get, the less makeup you want to wear continuously because you want to protect your skin. And also I feel like I look younger when I don't wear loads of makeup. So making sure I have a good base for everything is... The dream. So I think I'm massively late to the party on this one, but this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This one is £8, and it's meant to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which is actually $52. £8, $52. I know which one I'd rather, 100%. I love a dupe. I love trying a dupe. Dupes are my favourite thing, because if you can save money and it's exactly the same product, where's, where's, where's the science? Where's the logic? There's no. There's none. Like, we need to get things that are cheaper. You know what I mean? So it's infused with squalane, and squalane, I only know this from reading, squalane is meant to help grip your makeup onto your face and also lock in moisture so that you don't have any makeup that slips and slides throughout the day. It says it has a smooth texture to glide over the skin seamlessly. Big claim. Grips makeup for all day wear and flawless finish. And it's perfect for all skin types. So I have normal to dry skin, so I'm really excited to try this. I do worry about poreless primers because I think, oh my God, are they going to be really drying? So fingers crossed this works. If it's drying, then... I'll know because it'll start going over my nose and we don't like that. So I'm testing this one along with two other makeup products to see how it lasts on my face. So I am just going to mention the other two products then we're going to try them all on for the 10 hour wear test. This is our next little baby to bring to the party. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. 24 hour fresh wear foundation. No transfer, no shine, no dry out, no mask effect. Wow. I don't really get what it says, no mask effect. Like I don't, I'm, I'm, slow, I'm slightly confused. I don't think anyone buys a foundation with a mask effect. 
that's it. So it's available in 26 shades. It says it is weightless feel, fresh wear liquid foundation, transfer proof, life proof, party proof, and waterproof. Long wear formula lasts up to 24 hours. Well, we will see in the 10 hour wear test, hon. If it doesn't last 10 hours, it's not going to last 24. No compromise, full coverage base, and ultra stretchable gel formula. Lovely. The last product which is going to be tested for the 10 hour wear test is this, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. So everyone went crazy for this. I know, I know, I know. I have actually tried the 16 hour wear concealer, the Camo Concealer from e.l.f. However, this one was new and it was hydrating and I was like, wow, because I love the other e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It is literally a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape without a doubt. If you use Tarte Shape Tape, you can save yourself so much money. The Camo Concealer is six pounds versus Tarte Shape Tape, which is like 30 something. You can tell I don't buy it. The Camo Concealer went viral everywhere, not just on TikTok. Everyone was going absolutely crazy for it, doing the testing videos, and I swear by that Camo Concealer. However, let's go try the hydrating one, because I do actually have dry under eyes. I'm all up for hydration under my under eyes. I like to brighten them. I like to lift them. You know, I'm not getting any younger ones. I need to start lifting my eyes because I get dark circles and you know, you know, you know. This is meant to be full coverage, hydrating and long wearing. We'll see. We'll see. So I then have this beautiful product, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Everyone has said it's a dupe for the Toucher Silk Canvas Primer. It has this light colour to it, and I've never actually touched this primer. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. Ooh. It's got this beautiful silk kind of vibe to it. It's a really nice texture and a really nice feel. So I'm just going to take this all over my skin. It's meant to smooth your pores, and it's meant to make you look poreless but it's also meant to have squalane in it so what happens is it's meant to help your whole makeup stick to your face throughout the day long lasting makeup that's what we want isn't it it feels gorgeous it feels so nice i have used the luminous version of this but i haven't used this one the luminous version had a luminosity to it which it wasn't the best for me but it was a very good primer but this is the one that everyone raves about so i'm very very excited put a bit on my chin makeup tends to go from my nose the main place then up here it seems to go patchy so i'll put a little bit more up here but it's like my chin my nose and this kind of area your t-zone i guess but that's not your t-zone is it that is so nice on your skin every single time i put some on my skin it felt very thin and lightweight i am going to do a wear test I'm going on a bike ride i've got lots of bits to do today so i will let you know after about 10 hours of how my makeup lasts everything that i put on top of my face so we will see we will see how good this primer actually is because i'm going to show you i love wear tests because I feel like they're the best way to really see how something works. This is my skin at the moment. Let's put some more makeup on and then we'll do the test. Next up, we do have this, which is the L'Oreal 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This is in the shade Sable. No, it's not, it's in the shade 200 Golden Sand. I have used this product before. When I first tried it, I didn't even like it. I didn't think it was great, but it was because I used a really old, bad beauty blender that was just separating my makeup and it wasn't this product's fault. I'm just gonna take some here. Some here. So lately I have been using a brush to put on my foundation, but I like to also just take a beauty blender. I know that you don't get as full coverage with a beauty blender, but I just like the way that it seamlessly goes on, and I just love this foundation. If I could compare it to anything, I would compare it to the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's just got this wonderful silk texture. It's not super glowy, but it gives my skin a nice glow to it. And you see it just looks... I really, really like this foundation. So it says here that it's got a weightless feel, which I definitely agree with. It feels so lightweight on your skin, in your hands. It's just very thin, which I love. I don't like a foundation which feels very thick and heavy, but this gives you really good coverage whilst also being thin. It also says it's transfer proof. Wow. Life proof. That's, that's, that's a claim. That's a claim to make. Party proof and waterproof. Well, let's hope it doesn't rain today. If it does, then I'll let you know if it's waterproof or not. So, so far, I do really like the coverage on my face. I've applied very minimal amounts, which I really like. I like to wear a foundation which I can put on in a light way, but it gives me the coverage that I need, and I feel like this is a very nice coverage, so fingers crossed. So that is my skin at the moment, how it's looking. It really does match my neck, which I'm happy about. It's giving me nice coverage. I haven't gone all over my eyelids or underneath my eyes because I'm leaving that for a concealer, but I really do like it. It's so lightweight that you can still see 
my skin but it's covered it's a good coverage for me this is perfect and it's also buildable because it's so thin if you wanted to really give yourself even more coverage you can build it up because it's so lightweight but i actually wanted to get this concealer as well and use it as a cream contour but i couldn't get a hold of a cream contour color so and i didn't know which shade i'd be so this is the shade light sand i love the dough applicator i think it's amazing it's just so thick and wide and perfect just so thick and wide and perfect for underneath the eyes this has got quite a pinky undertone a peachy undertone this color i normally go for yellow undertones although since i've been watching things with makeup by ariel he actually says going underneath your under eyes with a pink kind of undertone it really does color correct he uses a pink undertone on kylie jenner so it works for kylie jenner huns it works for us you know so i don't actually use normally this much concealer but i figured if we're really gonna put it to the test, we might as well. So normally I leave my concealer to sit for a little bit. I've seen loads of people say that it's basically a really good way of making the concealer thicker. So it allows your natural heat from your skin to come up and it sort of makes the concealer better coverage. Here we go. I've never tried this in combination together. So on my skin at the moment, I have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour and then I have this 16 hour wear concealer. So we are really putting these things to the test today because we want to find out whether they're actually gonna last. You can see on my skin, it's high Hydrating. Got that wonderful kind of sheen to it. Still looks full coverage though, doesn't it? Impressed so far. I mean, I'm obsessed. That coverage is so nice. And can you see it's given my kind of eyes a lift? Like I do have dark circles and I do have quite dark under eyes. And it really has just given me a lift. I might just take this all over my lid as well. I also think what I really like about it is that it's completely blended out seamlessly. Like when I'm blending it, it's not really difficult to blend out. It's not going into my creases. It's just looking seamless and so nice. So I'm gonna put some powder on and finish the rest of my skin and I will check back in with you. I think my skin looks nice and hydrated. It doesn't look covered. It doesn't look cakey, but also I've got the coverage that I want and also I've got the hydration that I want. So fingers crossed this in combination works. I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so angels, this is my face with my makeup on, obviously using my toner, using my e.l.f. Paula's Pretty Primer, using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and, and using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is how it looks right now. Obviously, I'm gonna be checking in back with you in about 10 hours to really see how it's lasted throughout the day. I'm so excited to show you. I've gone with a lot of cream products because I really wanted to see how everything slips and slides or if it moves. I've used a cream blusher, a cream bronzer, as well as other powder products. I've also set it with a setting mist because I've just done my general everyday makeup. So I'm really excited to see. I really like the way my skin looks. I feel like it looks flawless, which I'm, I'm being honest, like I genuinely feel like it looks just really nice so i'm really excited to see i really hope all these products are good because then i'll have affordable good makeup products which i can keep reusing and i'm not going to worry about having to go out and splurge you know okay so i'll see you soon let me know what you think of my skin i've obviously come closer now so let me know what you think because you guys are the best okay cool Okay, so angels, I'm back to do the wear test. It's currently seven o'clock in the evening. It's still light and bright outside, which we love. This has been 10 hours of wearing this makeup. I've been actually out on a bike ride in the wind to support Spencer, because he did a four mile bike ride for Alzheimer's to support Steph and Lewis. And I was alongside him on the bike. And let me tell you, the wind was hitting me. Some salt from the sea was hitting me. And I was like, my makeup is gonna do really badly so i was really worrying but let's have a look see shall we i've not touched up anything as you can see i've got complete transfer of my mascara onto my lid because i've got lovely hooded eyes it's fine we're all different we're all unique we love it so far my face i think personally my makeup still looks for 10 hours very put together I've gone the tiniest bit patchy up here, I think, but that's normally where I go patchy anyway. But considering I literally had force winds going against my face, I think we've done very well. Around my smile lines, I'm really impressed because my smile lines, because I've got such a big smile, it really does kind of go into my lines there. Normally, it's really bad. So I'm really impressed. I mean, I'm gonna come a bit closer so you can see, but what do you think? I think my under eyes have really done well there's actually a little bit of salt under my under eyes from going on the bike ride so it's fine but my under eyes i still think look bright 
and brightening and I still think they look really good coverage for 10 hours like I don't expect to have full full coverage after 10 hours and I think the coverage is just exactly what I laid on my skin I feel like the coverage of the foundation looks really nice still it's not gone bitty around here sometimes it separates on my chin but I feel like it looks nice there's a tiny bit of separation which is normal you know after 10 hours I'm assuming it would be like that but overall the primer the foundation and the concealer to me work extremely extremely well I think this primer be amazing on anyone's skin I really do like I'm shook like my pores around my nose like they look so minimal it's actually ludicrous and normally my bronzer doesn't stay on so well like normally my face products my cheeks are the first things to go like blusher around my cheeks goes instantly but it seems like it's still on it's not as vibrant and bright as it was earlier but I'm so impressed. I'm going to be repurchasing that primer, repurchasing that foundation, repurchasing that concealer because I am officially obsessed. TikTok made me buy it and thank you TikTok because smashed it. A bit closer for you guys because I want you to be able to see this. I'm shook. Ignore my eye makeup and my brows and whatever, but and my lipstick, but jeez, I think I look good. I am buzzing. Huns, if you haven't seen this, then where have you been? Because Honestly, wow. I do actually have loads of products in front of me, by the way, that aren't beauty products. Some are beauty products, but I know this video literally would have been about an hour long if I included everything. So I was like, why don't I make another video of these? So if you do like me doing these videos, then please definitely let me know because I've got some really cool pieces that I really want to show you. So let me know if you want me to do any more of these TikTok testing or because there's Amazon products, there's Boots products, there's everything. I'm like so excited. So next. Oh my God. It's the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. 10 minute exfoliating facial. Well, do you ever remember when I think it was Kim Kardashian? was getting those vampire facials and then I think this came out and everyone was like wow I can do a vampire facial from home so apparently this is meant to offer a deep exfoliation and help battle blemishes I've seen people that are on skincare by Hiram's TikTok and if you don't know skincare by Hiram then he is literally a dream I follow him and I just think it's amazing he has literally made people's lives change because he's helped them with their skin he's a dermatologist I think anyway he's offered some really affordable solutions and this is one of the things that he actually recommended uh, not to me personally he didn't DM or anything like that but I just saw <laughs> he says this is really good so for anyone that suffers with blemishes or anything like that apparently this is meant to absolutely sort you out sort your skin out any lumps and bumps any little bits that you don't like on your face uh, apparently this claims to get rid of it. Anything but ordinary. Ooh, love that. Exfoliate the skin's topmost layer for a brighter, more even appearance. That's for the AHAs. And the BHAs exfoliate the skin more deeply to clear pore congestion. Lovely. So the reason I wanted to use this on Spencer is because he has really congested pores and we're really trying to sort his skin out at the moment. So me and Spencer are going to put this to the test. We have completely different skin types. So let's have a gander. Did I just say gander? I swear that's what parents say. Who am I? Anyway, next product, let's do this. So, the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. 10 minute exfoliating facial. So here we go. Wow, vampire facial it is then. Let's hope this is good. If it starts to sting, I'm gonna take it off because I have looked up and it says, if it stings, then you should take it off. Skincare by Hiram said that, so I think it should tingle a tiny bit, but if it starts to really sting and hurt, like I can feel tingling sensation. But I'm alright with that because I think, well, maybe it's doing some good. But if it starts to really hurt, then I'm going to take it off. On every single one of Skincare by Hiram's videos, he mentions this as well about how amazing it is. So anything that's going to look after my skin, you know, prevent ageing, love my life, then I'm all for it. And if it's cheap, well, I'm even more for it. Do you know what I mean? Apparently it's meant to be amazing. So do not use on wet skin. Apply evenly across face and neck using, oh, neck. I didn't do your neck, Spencer. I actually put it on Spencer earlier as well, so he's got it on. Baby Prince has got it on as well. We're gonna test how it is. I'll show you his skin afterwards. How's it feeling? Good evening, people. I'm yeah. very good, thank you. Um, you didn't ask me how I was. <laughs> my skin is fine, thank you. Good. Oh, it's tingling a bit on my nose. Is it? If it stings too much, we're meant to get it off. Let me know. So he's not had it for 10 minutes yet. He's had it for eight minutes. So we're gonna rinse it off soon. You can rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water and leave on for no more than 10 minutes. Only to do twice a week maximum. See, because it's such an exfoliant, you don't wanna completely strip your skin. Slightly concerned this is gonna go on my jumper. Oh my God. No, it's fine. It looks slightly scary, but it's absolutely fine. No one was hurt in the process of filming this YouTube video, hun. I'm already feeling exfoliated and just amazing, even though. I don't even know what it's going to do. So I'll check back in with you in 10 minutes. This is horrendous. I'm sorry if I've actually scared anyone. 
from watching this, like genuinely. So I've just washed it off right now. I've got some patches up here, which I think are fine. Like, it doesn't sting or anything like that, so I'm just gonna hope that they go down, but it's not like I was itching or anything like that. I left it on for 10 minutes and my skin, what does your skin feel like? Yeah, nice. Yeah, soft. Like, I'm glad Spencer's didn't react because we're worrying about his skin and, like, what's going on with it at the moment. It's quite red and he's got, like, different things. He got prescribed something by the doctor for a month, but it wasn't working. So we're just trying to hope to see if we can use CeraVe and bits like that to try and cure it. So I'm glad yours didn't react. I'm glad mine didn't react, although I'm the one with the, the red bits. But my skin feels very soft. It feels like I've sort of got a new layer of skin kind of thing in a weird way, if that's even possible. But, yeah, so far, so good. I'll use it another time this week and then I will let you know in the description how I kind of find it because I know that using it once isn't going to really make much of a difference but I will use it another time in the week and I will let you know in the description yes very exciting so thinking glowing glowing yeah it's given me like a nice healthy glow because I think it's a really mild exfoliator even though it looks quite strong I don't think it's really really super intense but it's made my skin feel nice because I've got some like little bumps up here at the moment so I'm trying to get rid of them. Fingers crossed, because then the foundation will go on better, the highlight will go on better, we'll love life. Oh my god, I think this is my favourite product. I shouldn't be saying that, should I? No. Okay. Vanessa Beauty 25 piece makeup brush set. Oh, lovely. Dropped out. So this one was £34.99 for 25 brushes. As you can tell, I've already used some because I'll take the used ones out because they're dirty, but I've used them for the testing video. However, I'm going to show you what you get in this set now because honestly, you need it. It's synthetic hair. So this is the amazing set of all the brushes. You've got eyeshadow brushes, lip brushes. You've got, oh my God, I've got so many. So soft as well. I'm so excited. I've got face brushes. Oh my goodness. I've been recommended these by so many different people, by the way. So I'm so excited to try them. <gasps> these are my favourite brushes because they're just so good for blending. That is my favourite size brush. The 228. I'm sorry, but this looks really like... um morphe and the other one zoeva if this is and i've just absolutely got a steal i mean every single person in the world has got the steal because i'm very late to the party but very excited by all these brushes you literally get so many different ones Button. so i've actually got a morphe brush right here right now this one is the luxe highlight and this one is m438 so i know the morphe brushes are affordable but i think these work out a lot more affordable i'm just gonna do that and i'm just gonna do that for me they feel exactly the same. Like genuinely, side by side, they feel the same. Just as soft, I mean there's no product on there but I can't cope, they feel so soft. I literally am obsessed with this brush set. Like 34 pounds for 25 brushes. I think that's really good for good brushes. There's a difference between being cheap and being bad but also being cheap and being good. And these are cheap and I'm gonna leave it to the testing part. But I am very shook with how similar they are to high-end brands, Zoeva brushes, etc. I was recommended these by so many different people saying that TikTok made them buy them and they're obsessed. I went on their Instagram and they're amazing at makeup and I was like, wow, if you like these brushes, then I should like these brushes because I'm not very good at makeup. You're amazing at makeup. If you like them, then I should like them. So let's put them to the test. Let's put all these wonderful brushes. You get face brushes, foundation brushes, blusher brushes, bronzer brushes, so many different eye brushes, eyeshadow brushes, eyebrow brushes, lip brushes. Every brush you want is in this set. All wrapped up nicely. I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. I can't go. Please excuse the fact my hair is really, really tight. It will drop out. I'm just halfway through doing my hair. So I want to use this brush, which is the 104 buffer so i want to use it with my foundation because i've actually really enjoyed using brushes at the moment with foundation because i find that you don't lose as much product as you do with a beauty blender i like to go over the top with a beauty blender oh too much came out there sorry about that one okay so i'm just gonna take this brush it feels so soft because i normally use a morphe or a kabuki brush very soft jesus louise so far, it's really, really nice distribution of product. It's not taken loads of the product, and I feel like I can still maneuver, and it's still... Yeah, look. not really move the product. The product stays on my skin. Did you see that? Because sometimes when you put a big splodge, it normally goes straight onto the brush. But here, I'm sorry, but I love brushes with foundation. I think it just goes on so seamlessly. If these are going to be my new favourite brushes, and they're so affordable, if these are going to be my new favourite brushes, then baby princess, Amazon will be calling look at that very impressed normally i have to go over the beauty blender but it looks like it's literally blended into my skin it honestly looks i cannot cope i need to use every single brush i need these brushes i'm gonna use more brushes 
I'm sorry, and I love brushes because they're so quick. You literally just go. So excuse me while I'm midway through my makeup. So I'm gonna take this brush now, which is the 106 powder brush. I really wanted a smaller brush for my bronzer because I find that I use big fat ones and sometimes it just goes all over my face. So I wanted something to be a bit more precise. So I'm gonna see what this says. The thing is, I don't know if I could be the best judge of makeup brushes. I'm not a makeup artist, but I know what I like to use. I like to use ones that feel soft on my skin, distribute product nicely like it's doing right now and they're affordable i'm not gonna go and buy i did once i bought a really expensive brush and i never use it and it was just pointless and i remember getting to the till and being like sorry how much is it i thought it was gonna be like 18 pounds and it's like 40 something pounds no it was more expensive than that i need to look it up it's the nar um, kabuki brush it's like really thin look it up i don't remember how much it was but geez louise these brushes just feel so nice on my skin I'm like super impressed. Then while we're at it, I'm gonna take my favorite shape brush, the Lux Crease 228, and I'm just gonna dip it back into my bronzer. I'm just gonna go into my crease. You know, I can understand why so many of you have gone mad for these brushes, because they're cheap, but they're also good, and they're soft, and they literally remind me of Morphe. Morphe brushes are affordable as well, but this is a whole set. Oh, see, that is so nice. Oh my God, that makes it look seamless. This is my favorite brush. <laughs> That's my favorite brush. <laughs> I will say one thing I really like about them actually. Have you ever tried like a cheap brush and it feels like plastic is going into your skin and it's like grating against your skin? These genuinely feel just like my other brushes. They're so soft on my skin and I really, really like that. So I'm now taking the Luxe Smoky Shader. Oh, I'm not gonna use it as a smoky shader. I'm actually gonna use it as a flat brush to put on some pigment. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. Oh no, I am not. Oh no, I am not. I'm hoping you can see that. I haven't got the best quality camera, but I'm hoping that you can see. I mean, who couldn't see that? That is stunning. Thank you very much. Amazon absolutely come through, don't they? My God, new brushes, new me, new woman. I am absolutely. It's an absolute yes from me. It's an absolute yes from moi. I wanted to show you my finished makeup look using the brushes. I'm super impressed, so I will be repurchasing them, but not for a long time because I don't need to. I need to remind myself that. I sometimes repurchase things when I don't need to, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're a shopaholic. <laughs> and then last, but by no means least, I actually shaved my face for this video, so I hope that people like this video, because otherwise, if my hair grows back really thick, and I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. So these are the 12 piece eyebrow and facial hair removers. They are extremely skinny and small and detailed. They are absolutely tiny and you get 12 in a kit. They have a lovely little guard on them. They are meant to make your face smoother for makeup application. Also, if anyone struggles with, you know, a lot of fluffy hair around their face, then this apparently saves the, saves the world. It doesn't save the world, it doesn't save the world, but apparently really helps. The cutter head is made of stainless steel. It also has a guard to protect. It's lightweight, easy and convenient, it says, and they're portable because they're just so skinny. You can put them in all of your travel bags, and we love that. It says they're effective razors. It says long-lasting, incisive, and precision-designed stainless steel razors allows you to control it at ease with an anti-slip grip. Facial razor, eyebrow razor, bikini wax area, whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. Okay, so very exciting. We've got the razors up next. Very buzzing for this. So apparently these are meant to be amazing at getting face fluff off, which I do have a bit of. I've got dark hair. I get dark hair sometimes. I get lighter hair here, but then obviously dark hair here and stuff like that. So we're going to see. Apparently this gives you a flawless base. Slightly concerned about this. But a lot of people say that your hair doesn't grow back thicker. I'll get rid of the little bit of tash there, hand. Apparently your makeup goes on so much better. Imagine it just grows back really thick and bushy and I'm like, why did I do that? I can see little bits of fluff come off, I'll show you. Can you see any bits of fluff there? Let me know if you can, I'll bring it even closer. But it's just such thin hair. But there is some on there, Hans. I mean, you can even, because they're so tiny, you can even just trim up little top bits of your brows up there. Get rid of the old mono, lovely. Very impressed, honeybees. Imagine I just went whoop and just went into my hair. Let's not talk about imagines, because we don't want that. Ooh, I like these, they're very good, very handy. And I've got little blonde hairs around. There you go. Okay, amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please definitely give it a massive thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry if it's a random video and I've never done one like this, but hopefully you really like it and I'm praying that you do. So if you want me to do another video like this, then definitely let me know because I've got some really cool bits in front of me. Like I've got about 10 different bits that I really want to show you. Some beauty, some other bits, really cool bits, some home stuff. You got it. Cheap, affordable bits.
Okay, anyway, I will see you on Saturday for a story time, and I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm going to love you, and I'm going to leave you. Bye! Thank you so much. Oh, if you want to subscribe, you can, but I'm not going to force anyone, because I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Like, genuinely so hot. I could have just worn a t-shirt, couldn't I? Okay, stop talking to yourself.